This is not just an ordinary book. This is a sacred book that deserves to be respected by anyone, even to those who are non-believer of God. This book contains historical events that is beyond scientific explanation. Even it contains some gruesome stories like killing or fighting, it tells us also the difference between right and wrong, and what would be the effect if we have done something to our fellow people in this world. If you read it every day, and putting it in your daily life, like trust in. The Return of the King I can't believe this is at number one. This book is absolutely amazing in just every way possible. Every single character, however minor, becomes someone of great importance and learns a very important life moral. Tolkien's world of Middle-earth is the best fictional world ever created. I don't think the Bible should be over this masterpiece, since only a set percentage of the population actually believes in the Bible anyway. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins If you like this, you people should read Battle Royale. I used to think this book was the best book ever. Then I read Battle Royale. Even though it was written 9 years before this, it is better. Battle Royale has 42 teenage contestants with no prior training. The program is a complete surprise to them. They are also from the same high school class so instead of a bunch of random kids it's friend against childhood friend. It describes each contestant's death. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, I understand the comparison between Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, both of them are fantasy book where good and evil isn't limited the bad and the good guys, but even the good guys have it. They both using fantasy to make and engaging different world. Frodo and Harry both sacrificed so much for others, Katniss on the other hand is selfish, if she ever thought on someone else, it was because it was related to her. The Hobbit Among Tolkien's books, almost every books were pretty difficult to read, but this one. The Hobbit can be thought that it's just a spin-off of Lord of the Rings, but this one is just great. Tolkien's book is not just a fantasy, but his works include some valuable lessons that we should acknowledge every time in our lifetimes. I know Bible is a pretty great book, however, I think The Hobbit should be the top. I loved reading it so much that I bought myself another copy to read. 1984, the absolute scariest book of all time. Not monster scary, but scary in the fact that it is real. Some governments around the world are pure Oceania, and being George Orwell's nearly final novel, it feels more like a prophecy than anything. Just finished it, and from what I know, this is not a light read. It's grim, thought-provoking, frightening, shocking and terrifying in the regards of politics and social science gone into maniacal control. And scariest of all, it actually feels realistic. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone honestly, and don't be mad I love all Harry Potter books, excluding the recent Cursed Child, and this one is no different. It is my second least favorite of the amazing series, Cursed Child is my new least favorite, because of the introductions. It seems to be the most boring of the series, it is still insanely exciting just compared to the others it is a little more boring. I still love this book to death, like all the others, it is just not as exciting. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee Great characters, interesting events, deep and insightful messages, realistic drama, and swings of emotion. I have known people, even ones that do not read much, that can admit that To Kill a Mockingbird is truly a great book. It's one of my all-time favorites, and it's worth a read, I mean it. A few chapters in, and you'll fall in love with the enticing story, interesting characters, and absolutely gorgeous storytelling. This book is really something else. Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney When I was merely six, I was just a homeless child on the streets. My parents had died, I had to fend for myself, begging for spare change, living on the leftovers of happy meals I found in rubbish bins, though I was far from happy. I was unwanted, insignificant. But that all changed one day. A school group full of 10-year-old boys and girls were walking past me one day, nothing really new, but one of them dropped a bright red book that caught my eye. 
This is the saddest list I've ever read. The top 10 should be, in no specific order, Ulysses, The Great Gatsby, The Sound and the Fury, The Grapes of Wrath, 1984, A Catcher in the Rye, Lolita, To Kill a Mockingbird, Catch-22, and Beloved. Yet the only people that vote on here are tweens that have no knowledge of genius literature. I love that it is based in the 1920s, it's my favorite time period in modern history. Plus the movie turned out really good. Definitely top 5 worthy.